Strozzi on the subject of forgiveness after arguments. There is one attitude that many couples find difficult after an argument has happened and Josie highlights it really, really well. What would that attitude be for you? Thanks for joining us today. Josie, how important would you say forgiveness is in a marriage? I think forgiveness is very, very important in marriage. You've got to forgive that person. You've got to forgive yourself okay. to be able to forgive that person. And when it comes to marriage, I mean, we argue, with, we agree to disagree. The fact that you're a married couple doesn't mean that you're not going to agree or disagree. We're not going to get it everywhere. all right. Yeah. But most important thing is to uh, forgive and get over it, you know, sure. because you can't, sometimes you get so upset about whatever is going on and you don't even want to talk to your partner. I used to do that in my marriage uh, before. It's happened to but me. Yeah. Later, mm. I found out that no, when that argument happened, whatever you want to say, get it out of your chest sure, and sure, then move sure. on. Because I have to learn that from my husband because he's one of those people you can argue just a minute, he'll turn around like nothing happened and I'll be holding yeah, it. I'll be like, no, be, we just did that. Yeah, and yeah. you're coming back to talk to me like everyone. I have yeah. to learn and it's, it's, it's good for my health as well. Good because because Judy and I uh, sometimes I have to force her to talk about it. She closes up. Normally it's Amanda that does that, but but she does. She closes up, and I say, wait a minute, we have to talk about this. And then you see, forgiveness I don't think can happen very easily in a couple unless you talk about it. Yes. Unless you bring Let out, well, this out. is what's wrong, and this is you know we want to make it right, but first we have to communicate. Yes. We need to learn to forgive each other and we learn mm. to have to learn to move on. Mm -hmm. Let's let's we, we've done it, let's forgive each other and move on. Else it's just two of us. When you're silent, it's going to affect me it is, and it's it going is, to yeah. spoil mm. the mood, yes, the children, and everything. House, yeah. So we it's hard, but you need mm. to learn to forgive your husband, sure. your mm. wife, to be able to make the atmosphere in the house okay. lovely. And would stage. you would you say that it's um would you say that sometimes it takes time to forgive? Uh, you know, even yeah. even if you make the decision, well, I yeah, I forgive, but you know. Time. It depends on what you were arguing about. It. You know, sometimes people take longer time to mm -hmm. be able to forgive other people, sure, sure. and some people take shorter, you know, time. But whatever way you want to deal with it, it's okay. But the most important thing is to mm -hmm. forgive the other yeah. person. Good. Don't hold it in you because it's not healthy for you as no, well. No, it's all it, 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 moody, it's, it's and it affects everyone in a relationship. Because uh, I mean, moody husband happy no no happy wife mm -hmm. a moody wife husband is also not happy yeah, because you're trying to figure yeah. out what's wrong with sure, her what is sure. wrong with him okay. so we need to be able to forgive and move on because yeah. we're not children anymore we no, are no no we're supposed to act like it. adults we don't always <laughs> not always <laughs> What a refreshing perspective Josie has on how to deal with arguments in a marriage. Next week, Larry and I will be talking about how many of us tend to be expert lawyers without the training where arguments are concerned. It's entitled, Make Your Case. Hope to see you then. God bless and goodbye for now.